size, speed, everything to do it as a linebacker. And we saw it that time on display. Under pressure and incomplete. We see it so often nowadays. All quarterbacks moving around the pocket. That time he gets outside the pocket. But as he looks down the field, nowhere to throw it. Nobody open. Just another incomplete pass. He's got a chance to return this one. And they get to him at the 45. Andrew Luck gained a lot of experience at Stanford, threw the football a lot, moves around well. This guy is going to be a star one day. First and 10. It's handed to the running back. He's got daylight. That's a conversion, the first of the day. Give him a new set of downs. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, that's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. And he's brought down by Antoine Buffet. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. First down here after the run. Challenging the defenders to the right side. And almost picked off. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Second down and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The Jaguars now move the chains. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. That long gain sets them up here on this play. They'll go ground. Surges ahead. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second and nine. Staying on the ground. Good for only a yard. You got to keep your offensive line aggressive. So you got to let them run the football so they can hit those defensive linemen. The run didn't pick up many yards, but it's still something. Third down and eight. Trying to make something happen. Robert Mathis rushes and takes down the quarterback. I'm not going to blame the offensive line. They did their job. But the problem was the secondary, they were all over the receivers, nowhere to, for the quarterback to throw it. That is truly a covered sack. The kick is good. Well, it ties things up. That's good for the. Drop back, shotgun formation. Looking to scramble. Looks to his left. He had no time to get set. Nice job by the quarterback that time. Got outside the pocket, got away from the pressure. Uh, gave himself time, even though the pass is incomplete. Good job of avoiding the sack. The defense comes out of the dime. Second and ten. And he's forced to the ground. The defensive captain looks over and signals an immediate timeout. They bring in an extra defensive back. Play action fake and dropping back to throw. Looking long. Caught it, but he's out of bounds. Good try, throw it deep down the field. It's a beautiful throw, but it just goes incomplete. Going to try his luck right here. The formation here, shotgun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Touchdown, and they get one back. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the 
offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. First down and 10. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. Gains 17. Well, you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the touchdown. Jacksonville Jags. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. First and ten. Maurice Jones drew. Looking for some daylight up the middle. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Quarterback drops back. He's got a little bit of daylight here. He steps out. That play is good for a first down. Let's round! Let's round! After the long game, let's see what they do here. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Throws out the arm. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. This is just a good example of how the NFL has changed. If you want a big play, you don't always have to throw it down the field or design something special. The throw it to these wide receivers short, we can see they're able to take short passes, break tackles, and with their talent, they get long games. And not until they pick up good yardage as he brought down. Hold on a minute. There's an injured player on the field. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Well, when you get down here this close, you've got to be tough, big, and strong to get into the end zone. That time, he falls a couple inches short. From the red zone to the ground here. He's in for the touchdown. The fullback gets the touchdown. So many things they do are underappreciated. Blocking for the running back, protecting the court. First and 10. Getting away from the pressure. Eyeing that left side. So many times we see quarterbacks get in this position. They get out of trouble, but they're so terrible throwing the football on the run, they can't take advantage of the fact that they got out of trouble. Not this time. Good throw on the run. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Touchdown, Jacksonville Jaguars. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. First and 10, they feed the running back. Brought down at the 29. Well, this team is definitely committed to the run. There's no doubt about it. And when you're committed to the running game, hey, a lot of them are not going to work. That's okay. Stay with it. Second down and seven. Another handoff. Has a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. The quarterback throws to the right. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion, 
They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. Coach is going to go for it. The quarterback will hand it off. The Jaguars get a first down. Good run that time. It results in a first down, and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Tire that defense out. And now we reach the two-minute warning. Flex Brown! Flex Brown! Ohio! The offense Ohio. looking down the field. The promised land so close by. Working that left side. E, touchdown! Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. First down and 10. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. Gavel Connor comes up with the play. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. Well, they got a big lead, and here they are in the red zone once again. And here's what you do. You play it safe. You just work as much clock as you can, and don't turn the football over. Good job by the defense that time. Stopping them inches short of the goal line. Big play. First down here. Staying with short run, and it's a touchdown. What a job by the offense. So little time left to drive down the field. It was a one-sided matchup early, and this game is finally over. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up, brought to you by Gatorade, G-Series Recover.
The NFL season is now in full swing as we get set for this early season matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Jacksonville Jaguars here at Everbank Field. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. And I guess the big question, Phil, before a kickoff is what do you expect here today? Jim, I expect a hard-hitting game. And this game's going to come down to who can out-hit the other team. Everybody says, yeah, we're willing to fight. Well, we're going to find out, are you really willing to fight? Can you do it for 60 minutes? Because that's what it's going to take to win this game. One team's on a roll here, a three-game winning streak, and things are starting to click, Bill. Yeah, when you're on a roll, Jim, and you've won a few games in a row, your confidence level, it's just through the roof. And even when you get behind, you go, no big deal. We got that confidence inside. We've done it before. We'll do it again. I think they're gonna, I think they're a very dangerous team here today. First and ten. Handoff out of the eye formation. Tackle down at the 22. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Full house formation. Second down and four. Going to be a penalty here. Holding. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. Second and nine now, following the penalty on the offense. That brings the play to an end. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run, and the defense being too aggressive. They're over-pursuing, so you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. One yard gain on the play. Hey, how about this decision? They're not going to punt it. They're going to try to pick up the first down. Change of possession coming up as they fail to pick up the first down on fourth down. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. He's scrambling now, challenging the defenders to the right side. In on that last hit was Thomas Howard. Nowadays, we see it all the time, don't we? Quarterbacks breaking contain, stepping up in the pocket, getting outside, and more and more we're seeing uh, these guys are getting better at throwing the football while on the run. Staying with the passing game on first down. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And he's knocked out of bounds. Well, in the NFL, they can't always block those defensive linemen. Good job that time by the quarterback. Avoiding the rush, getting outside the pocket, and a beautiful throw on the run. Play number six coming up on this drive. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. And that gains one. you got to keep your offensive linemen aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Right back to Jacksonville in the end zone for the top. It's a throw all the way. Just Blackman hauls it in. Even when the defensive back covers you, a wide receiver who can go up in the air and make that kind of catch, they are great for your football team. Second down now. Quarterback drops back, play action. And he's taken down. The name of the game is hit the guy with the football, isn't it? That's what it is. The quarterback has it. The defensive end, what a nice play. Gets to him that time and gets the big hit. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? No one was open. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. 
Tate now with the return. First and ten. The give breaks free. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second down and two to go after the running play. Gets it again here. He's in the clear. Touchdown, Jaguars. There is nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done, and this team definitely has one. the shotgun formation trying to work that left side Reggie Nelson makes the tackle you do not have to be as accurate as a quarterback when you're thrown against zone defenses there's nobody close to knock it down so that time not a great throw but because it was his own defense he still gets the completion handoff and a run right up the middle when you run the football like this and you show toughness there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. And they sack the quarterback. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there, hits the quarterback, and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. Five-step drop. He's into the open. A tackle that had to be made. And that'll set up fourth down. A short field goal try on the way. And it's a fake. Looks around. In his hands. Complete. Touchdown. What a good job by the special teams coach designing this play. They fake the field goal. They throw the pass down the field. From the gun. Running away from the pressure. The defense gets the sack. The name of the game is hit the guy with the football. The quarterback has it. The defensive end, what a job by him. Gets by the tackle and sacks the QB. That's a pass all the way. Looking to the right side and throwing. Incompletion on that hurry throw. You got to find ways to avoid sacks in the NFL. Two ways to do it. Run away from them because you got speed or good footwork inside the pocket. Nice job that time by the quarterback. Avoiding the sack and getting rid of the football. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Tate now with the return. Tackle down at the 42 yard. First and ten. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones Drew. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Play action. Quarterback has it on his hip, now looking to throw. If you can see the defense is going to try to pressure as a quarterback, you've got to know how to adjust. So don't give those play action fakes. Get in position and get rid of that football. He's looking to go down the field here. Makes the play on his way. The 20, the 10. No, stopping him now. Touchdown. What a good job by the wide receiver. Just going up and attacking the football. 
And you know why they can attack those footballs? Because they know they can't be hit. They're defenseless, so they get a free chance. First down and 10. Maurice Jones drew. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block. And then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him? and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get into secondary and make a big play. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. From the gun, running away from the sack, going for the home run. Here's the pass, and it's broken up, incomplete. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. Now looking at third down, trying to overpower him. Here's the run out of the strong eye. It's kind of refreshing to watch, isn't it, to see a team that has faith, the toughness, and the patience to just keep running the football, grinding out these first downs, resting their defense, and tiring out the opponent's defense. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Runs out of bounds. 15 minutes to go. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Goes to the left, bringing the play to an end. That was the proper thing to do. Dive for the end zone. Be careful when you're down in close. Don't reach out with it unless you know you can cross that end zone line. You don't want the football to get knocked out. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Touchdown! Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. Gets it again on this drive. Number 32 with the carry. Five-yard gain Let's on roll. the play. And here we have second down. The quarterback throws to the right. Wiggles past the defender. Well, that's the new NFL. Just keep throwing it behind the line of scrimmage and see if the athletes can catch it and make some yards. None there that time. A loss of a couple yards. Third down now. Dropping back to throw. He'll fire it out to the left. No one in sight. Has the grab. Well, a couple things on that play. Of course, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting out of trouble and throwing the football on run and getting the completion. But how about the defense? Quit being greedy. Stay in your rush lanes and don't let the quarterback get out. First and ten. Running for his life. We've got a flag. Justin Blackman hauls it in. The defense will not decline. They will take the penalty. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. Repeat, first down. Ohio! Ohio! 
After that penalty, it'll be first and 15. Scrambling out of the pocket. The throw to the left. And he's intercepted. They've got him down there. 22. They'll go shotgun here. Gets away from the heat. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. That time, awesome job by avoiding the sack by the quarterback. Gets out of trouble, gets outside. Hey, even though he doesn't get a completion, good job avoiding the negative yards. Trying to make something happen. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. That pass looks like a little miscommunication. They've come out in the dime package. Third and 10. Play action fake, looking to throw. Quarterback made a big mistake that time. Don't carry out the play action fake when you know you're under pressure. He tries to do it, it results in a sack. The punt team is in place and ready to perform. Signals, fair catch. This game's come to an end. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up, brought to you by Gatorade. G-Series Recover, giving you the protein you need to rebuild your muscles. How much sweeter is practice going to be this week after the win on that sideline? Once you win, practice is easier because your confidence is high. You feel good about what you've done from the previous week because you won. So I think it always gives you a better chance of winning the following week because you feel so good when you're out there in that practice field. So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.